Hello, good evening. Um, this is my uh, uh, initial response to um, Dung Yai One. Um, thanks um, for uh, posing that question. It is a very important question, actually. It was uh, you had asked the question uh, about the um, uh, destruction of the CIA tapes and why they were recorded in the first place. Um, whether they were destroyed or not, you know, no one knows. Uh, but uh, why they were recorded in the first place and for what purpose. My take on this is that they were probably recorded as some sort of a training manual for further enhanced interrogations. In other words, to enhance the techniques of the already enhanced techniques, which is a euphemism for torture, of course. So we're now in a position where we are actually arguing whether torture in this country should be legalized, and in fact it already has been legalized according to uh, George Bush and uh, Dick Cheney. There is much distortion going on in the mainstream media uh, that I want to point to, and others have pointed to that as well. So hopefully we can piggyback these videos with as many people as possible to get the message out. Uh, and the message by the mainstream media essentially has been distorted because it is in defense of uh, these sorts of interrogation techniques. There was an article you know, it was uh, much has been said on in, in NBC, ABC, and CNN actually um, trying to defend that position of a, a waterboarding or any other enhanced technique. Uh, there was an uh, an article written on uh, WNBC.com by one of their regular commenters. Uh, and uh, it starts out as saying, a torture should be outlawed as an instrument of national policy. It is an embarrassment to the nation. It has done irreparable damage to our image in the world. Of course, with the two last sentences, I agree, it has done irreparable damage to the world. But with the first sentence, I, um, I would refute that because Torture should, not, uh, torture should not be outlawed as an instrument of national policy. It is already outlawed as an instrument of national policy. It is against U.S. law, and it is against international law, and it is against the U.S., uh, against the Geneva Conventions. And, you know, since I only have 10 minutes to talk, and I tried this before, this little video here, and uh, it, it went too long. So to make a very important story short, to get this out there, there was an article today also by uh, Larry Johnson, a military analyst, ex-CIA guy, who knows a lot about these issues. And you need to look him up uh, on the net, you know, to look up his credentials, his bio, and so on. I, I can't go into that in a, in a 20 uh, in a 10-minute video here. But uh, he points out, of course, to the uh, Geneva Conventions and the Convention Against Torture, which includes waterboarding because it has actually been defined as a technique in U.S. law uh, in previous judgments in this country, including against a soldier um, who was photographed by the Washington Post, incidentally, aiding in waterboarding. Uh, back in the Vietnam War, and he was uh, court-martialed and convicted for aiding and abetting because waterboarding is considered torture in the United States as a matter of law. You know, aside from the moral issues here, it is also a legal issue. And so what uh, he points out uh, here in his, uh, in his article, which was uh, on the top of, of one of the major uh, blogs today, and it bears repeating because that message absolutely needs to get out there, that is Geneva Conven Conventions, any act by which severe pain or suffering, whether physical or mental, mental or mental, 
is intentionally inflicted on a person for such purposes as obtaining from him or a third person information or a confession punishing him for an act he or a third person has committed or is suspected of having committed or intimidating or coercing him or a third person or for any reason based on discrimination of any kind when such pain or suffering is inflicted by or at the instigation of with the consent or acquiescence of a public official or any other person acting in an official capacity what that means in plain english is you know if they're trying to inflict mental or mental suffering or physical suffering uh, intentionally on you in order to get something out of you for whatever reason it is illegal um, and they also can't torture your wife and your children in front of you that's what that means so article 2 of the Geneva Convention also says that no exceptional circumstances warranting torture are allowed that means by plain definition even in war, because it is the Geneva Convention was particularly applied to war and including the war on terror or the war on drugs for that matter. No state party shall expel, return, or extradite a person to another state where there is a substantial uh, ground for believing that he or she would be in danger of being subjected to torture. Acts of torture are criminal offenses. So folks, this is what we're faced with. We are faced with a government who has committed criminal acts and who has ordered criminal acts. You know, these crimes are war crimes and it is very serious for our nation to be in that position. And every one of us I don't care whether you are Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, or if you have no interest in politics whatsoever. This is completely beyond the pale and needs to be opposed by every American citizen. This is not what this country stands for or is about at all. And it needs to be opposed vehemently. No matter what the mainstream media tell you, you know, life is not a TV show like 24. There are circumstances um, which some people simply cannot imagine. And, you know, people were renditioned um, for, uh, at the request of the CIA in Guatemala in, in the 1970s, they took homeless people off the streets in order to practice their torture techniques on them. I mean, where will this end? So, this is just all I have to say for tonight because um, I have to cut this video short. I, I could say much more, but I think sh that should do for tonight. And uh, thanks to Lungya Wan for bringing up that question. Thank you very much.